Hi, this is Basic Calculus and we are on the application of implicit differentiation. Thus, we are solving related rates. This is example number two. And let's read together. A spherical balloon is deflated so that its radius is decreasing at a rate of two centimeters per minute. How quickly is the volume of the balloon decreasing when the radius is five centimeters? So we begin by creating your illustration and taking the problem little by little. We have a spherical balloon and it is being deflated. Therefore, air is coming out of it. Okay, so that its radius is decreasing. So the radius is the point from the center to one of the outline and it's decreasing. So it's decreasing at what rate? At two centimeters per minute. What else do we know? We are looking for the volume. So we are looking for the volume or how quickly the volume is decreasing. Therefore, it's a rate of the change in your volume. When, when, when the radius is at five centimeters. So we have a given value five centimeters. Let's write those given down, baby. Given. So we are given the radius at five centimeters, but we know that this is not constant because if it's getting deflated, then the balloon gets smaller and smaller. Therefore, the radius also gets smaller and smaller. Next up, we have two centimeters per minute. Two centimeters per minute. But take note, ah, it's decreasing. Therefore, to uh, for first to be able to get the correct sign, let's indicate the negative sign immediately here. Because it's decreasing at this rate. Kaya nag-negative ito. Kasi nga, decrease. It lessens. So, we have to put a negative sign here. Next, negative 2 centimeters per minute. Let's think of the appropriate notation for this. Negative 2 describes how your radius is changing. Therefore, what should be our numerator here? If radius is denoted by r, then the change in radius would now be denoted as dr. And then it is in terms of time. Therefore, we have dt here. There we go. Next up, what else? We are looking for the change in volume. Now, if you have centimeters as your unit of measurement, change this into a unit of measurement for volume. What will it be? Okay, this will now be cubic centimeter. So it's uh, when you have cubes or your notations are expressed in terms of cubes, then that's already the volume. Why is that? Let's show the long explanation. If you're just measuring, let's say, for the length of this, diba, centimeter mo lang siyang measure because this is just one-dimensional. If I ask you to get the area of this, then that means this is cm, cm, that's cm squared because uh, if you're getting the area, this is now length, length times width. It's 2D, kaya it's, two-dimensional, your exponent is two. And moreover, in terms of algebra, this multiplied by this will become squared. And in your uh, geometry, an area is measured in terms of this. It's squared. Square units, diba? Now, when it comes to volume, we are adding one more, one more um, factor such that it becomes 3D. So we have your length, your width, and your height. So we have, let's say we have cm, cm, and cm. You're multiplying three times. That's why it's cubed. So these are now three-dimensional. 3D kasi length, width, height. One, two, three. 3D, cubed. That's why you know that you're solving for the volume. You know that you will use cubed 
for your unit because you have already multiplied three dimensions. You have your length, your width, and your height. Algebraically speaking, when you multiply, let's say you have x times x times x, you'll have x cubed. So here you have say cm times cm times cm, that's cm cubed for um, the volume. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay, 3D, 1D, 2D. They are related to your mathematics and they are related to your area, volume, circumference, and those things. Yep. So, we are solving for the change in your volume as it goes through time. So, this one actually tells us the uh, formula that we have to use because it's pretty obvious. We're looking for the volume of the sphere. So the formula now, formula is now the volume of the sphere. How did I know? <laughs> it says it's looking for the volume and it says it's a spherical balloon. Therefore, it's the volume of the sphere. And the volume of the sphere is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed this is cubed because it's volume that's why it has to be cubed it has to be 3d all right okay so let's see before we go to differentiation what do we have to do again we have to see if we could substitute a constant oh let's look at our given the radius is this a constant no it's not because the balloon will continue to be deflated therefore this radius is now going to change. How about here? Oh, no, 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 no. We cannot substitute this yet because it's a difference. It's talking about the rate. Therefore, we don't have any constant. So let's continue with the differentiation. We will not be substituting anything. We will not be looking for anything as well. Differentiation. It doesn't ask for a volume. We don't have to solve for V. It's not asking the volume. It's asking how quickly the volume is changing. Okay. Mm -mm. So for the differentiation, we indicate d times dt v. And then by your coefficient rule, we just put four-thirds aside. Four-thirds pi. Pi is a number. Okay. So it's not a variable that you will also differentiate. It's a number. It's 3.141592654. So you don't have to get the derivative of that. It's a numerical coefficient in this case. R cubed. Oh, excuse me. But. So let's get the derivative of V. Okay. Not because it's a capital means you'll have, you'll have a different derivative. It's still one. <laughs> okay. So we have dV over dt times one. I won't write that anymore. And then 4 thirds pi. This is going to be dr over dt. And the derivative of r cubed is 3r squared. Please don't forget that. All right. So dv over dt is what we're looking for. So let it be there. dv over dt. 4 thirds pi. Let's substitute, by the way substitution we know dr over dt which is negative two and we are multiplying three and what's the r that's given five five squared so let's do that in your calculator um i prefer you to use the value of pi uh, in the calculator which is shift pi if you will do that so we have four thirds times shift pi times negative 2 times 3 times 5 squared which is 25 okay you could have you could have d over dt which is equal to oh by the way this question mark negative 200 pi cubic centimeters per minute so this is one answer or you could also Change that into decimal places and dv over dt. Now the change in your derivative is negative 6.32 cubic centimeters per minute. All 
right. Why is it negative? Because it's being deflated. Therefore, the volume decreases because it's being deflated. All right. So that's it. This is now how we solve it and we're done. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something today. Bye.